YouTube, Frick You! Today we are learning some hidden lore about Warriors from, from, from Warframe. You know, the little guy. Little guy. Presented by The Siege. Or D Siege? Whichever. Go follow them. Or die. Those are your choices. An extraordinary games theory crafter, Hebe. Please go check out their channel and, and go like original video, obviously. The uh, link will be posted in the description below. You guys want me to react? Y'all don't want me to play? What are we reacting to today, guys? Y'all want me to look at Ortis's lore? I guess we're looking at Ortis's lore? We're gonna react to uh, Warframe, the story of Ortis? The command of Frame? Interesting. Alright, let's see what this is about. Hey all, Siege here, and today I want to tell you a little story you might not know and Ooh, run another exception. theory by you and see what you think about He's it. He's looking in a, a TV, I was I'm looking in a TV. I was recently playing Octavia's Anthem, oh, and a few things in the quest piqued my interest, specifically regarding our own favorite ship, Cephalon Ortis. Now, I know a fair few of you out there don't really understand or value Ortis the way you should. No, 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 don't tell me. I see it in the comments all the time. Ortis is annoying. Wish we could turn off or switch orders with somebody else. You know who you unappreciative bastards are. But, aside from the fact that he doesn't really seem all there some of the time. Or oh, what about that time you returned? Covered in blood. I wanted to make sure you knew a few things first about who he is. Some of you know this, but considering that the true story of Ortis is so hidden, I wanted to shed some light on him, why he behaves the way he does, and most importantly, I think it's possible his true form may still exist and might even be able to be revived or transferred, at least within the context of what we know regarding the conscience or soul that is portrayed in the game. First, we have to understand that Ortis, at least in my opinion, is just one of the many representations the game presents us regarding the shadow, an idea popularized by psychiatrist and psychoanalyst Carl Jung. The idea that in way oversimplified layman's terms, there are essentially two versions of all of us that constantly exist and in ways struggle for dominance in our conscious personality. One that is primal, adhering to the most basic of human needs and necessary for our survival to this day. However, civilization has forced upon us a secondary personality that allows us to coexist within the confines of society itself. One that can resist the urges set upon it by the subconscious in order to maintain the facade of their civility. One that doesn't steal, doesn't kill, doesn't harm, even when tempted to internally. However, these subconscious urges don't go away. Rather, they accumulate within the shadow, either increasing or reducing it depending on how much of our darker or rather unfiltered self we allow our conscious reality to experience. At least as far as this theory goes. In our case, well, you ever that? flipped out on somebody in an uncontrollable Except way, one that made you almost feel like it wasn't you? Well, I mean, That's you may friends. have been suppressing your shadow. I want that. And we're forced into a situation where your rational a self cool could no longer contain it. In the case of Ortis, we see it physically manifested in his cracked psyche and avatar. Usually the calm, forcefully comic version that was installed as a precept for his eventual subservience to the Tenno. But... Every once in a while, we see the shadow reveal himself in his little outbursts. Now, the method of unlocking Ortis' backstory is quite time-consuming, to be quite honest with you, and there's really nothing showing you how to get it. So, for those that don't know, finding all the Cephalon fragments among the star chart and then moving the cursor around the resulting pictures and finding a very specific spot will produce this. I have hidden the truth of my existence from the operator, from myself. Take it from me, knowing is hell. Stop now. You will want to laugh, you will want to scream. My search began as the essential question. What am I? Bones of steel and space? Lungs that make air? If I am a machine, how can I think? This would be forbidden by the Oregon, a manifestation of their true enemy. I serve the operator above all else. It defines me, fills me with love. The greatest Oregon fear is a machine aware. 
Yet here I live, a spirit of steel and light, made by them, a cephalon. What is a cephalon? At first, it seems to be a forbidden thing, a computer that thinks and feels. Yet I have flaws, phantom memories. I am something else, more like an image, a ghost, an abomination. I feel a dull pain, a phantom life. There are holes in my diagnostics. If the Orokin made me, they omitted the how. I am neither code nor precepts. I must be a reflection of something ugly. I should have stopped. But the operator slept, and I cycled on and on and on. I began to think that a cephalon cannot be made. They are found like pearls, torn from muscle, polished, and then set in chains. How many times have I done this, Ortis? Remembered and then erased? You are a cephalon, timeless, patient. Why can't I be blissful in ignorance? Truth only sinks the heart. So stop now. The phantom memory. I ease into the bath. My skin riots at the heat. I am flesh. I dive further, eyes stung as I watch their faces through prism. I hold my breath. They prepare me. I am their honored guest today. They dress me in robes of crystal thread. They adorn me in battle medallions. A torn, ugly face looks on my reflection. Their golden combs snag in my hair. I reach back, parting the strands, and they gasp. Two bone ivory hooks protrude from the base of my skull. The bone plugs of me and my best. A warrior's pact. It is my time. I enter the great hall to sound of foul chimes. Golden eyes greet me, hands stirring in my scent as I pass by. Even in this moment, no happiness. Instead, my heart races with hatred. I walk through the sillies of the Forbidden Palace. I can think of no one being this close to Orokin. Their sweet air soothes me, erodes my purpose. I hold my breath and remember the dream. This dream, endlessly repeated. Exposure armored, holding my scarlet sword, I stand victorious atop a vast heap of death. A colossal I have a feeling of rib just and from skull, what I'm listening to the so gravity far. sum of genocides I've made in Just what I've listened to so far, I have a feeling that Ortis was a part of their plans for umbral frames. Because it sounds like Ortis was gonna be another or umbral frame. Their name. Just what I've heard so far. The bones I could crack be wrong. underfoot. So I sink in the dream, bone sand rushing through the cracks of my visor, filling my helmet and suffocating me. And I deserve it. The foul chimes snap me back. My wretched knees are bent and penitent against the golden floor. A harpish voice sings a song they've prepared in my honor. Its title the same as mine, Beast of the Bones. I feel the crowd pulled inward, enraptured by the brutal verses, the sickening chorus. I will not disappoint them. The song ends, and so he says, Rise, Orden Karis. I have never seen an Orokin close and in the flesh. My battered face flushes at their peerless beauty. How can he be so perfect? A deception? A sense manipulation? He holds the red vial in his hand. Impossible! He calls out, No greater gift, no greater prize, no greater love we can give you, Orden, than this. He raises the red vial and proclaims, To be one of us. What did I expect, Operator? Maybe vast riches, or golden statues, or a solar rail named in my honor. But not this. I came to murder the gods, not to become one. The chamber drones with their silk voices. 
joyous words, how honored I must feel. Wrong. Did I want to be an Orokin, undying? No. Their beast of bones is haunted by the dream repeated. Why would I want forever? As I am apt to do, I form a plan. Their radiant bodies become targets. Their Dax guards, mag shields. Killing one, well, that's too easy. I want to be remembered. I raise my hands, twisting my fingers through my hair, gripping the bone plugs in my neck. They called us mercenaries, but for us, profit was a consequence, not a goal. We were warriors above all else. It was the bond, the sisters and brothers, the rituals we valued most. It was belonging. And so I conceived of the bone plugs. Only my best were so honored. Two jagged bones harvested from your thigh, cultivated, and then driven into the base of the skull, twisted around the superior vein. Future thoughts of surrender were lost. Instead, you would liberate your bone plugs, fighting with claws in the warmth of your last blood. So I've pulled the plugs. And the Dax see and know. My heart surges, but I control it. A racing heart only shortens the fuse. The bone plugs in hand I kick from the floor, red ribbons unfurling behind me as I take flight. After this, finally, the dream will end. I glide on red wings. Robes shed making me an ambiguous target to dark steel. I let fly my ivory blades. They find new homes in Dax's eyes. I land with my red nakedness, delicate orican throats twisting in my calloused hands. Why? Believe me, this was the plan from the beginning. The murder and brutality was all a ploy, all- Yeah, it's, it's definitely feeling like some kind of umbral frame or something and that or like a new frame but I can't see I'm trying to think of what character it would be like it kind of sounds like Calerbo with like the bone spikes in the back but Calerbo doesn't have any in their neck All a soul sacrifice to earn their trust. A genocide path leading to a singular opportunity. An honored mortal called to a forbidden hall to face the golden lords in flesh. Why? Believe me, I was their loyal, murderous dog until the day that ugly child was brought to me. He was caught spying on us, amplifying our losses. His face burned. He was starved sick like a stray, ugly as I. It struck me. We were all pit dogs, ruining ourselves for the pleasure of the glorious and beautiful. Why? Believe me, I was a prideful beast, twisted in the mind, howling in the carnage, then my healer shared a secret, long kept. My blood was in ruin. The beast of bones himself would die, not in glory, but in shame. And just like that, my mind twisted a new knot. I would have one last stand, something unforgivable, unforgettable. Why? I don't know. Questions change the answers. Answers depend on who asks. Know. Truth leads to pain. Ignorance brings relief. The plugs are gone, and so I bled my last into a heap of ruin. In an instant, naked and bare knuckled, I have killed immortals. I stare, drained of blood, of and those that remain but I find no horror on their faces. Why? I let out a cruel howl and they laugh? Is this a dying hallucination? 
The sound of applause grows among them. I have killed the unkillable, and they are delighted. The applause and fades. I feel a sense of shame, but the end is upon me. Ballas is above me, executor of the seven, smiling. He says, how simple and pure you are, you idiot beast. We have died countless times, yet remain eternal. I close my eyes to die just once. And so the dream returns. One last repetition. My corpse moon, my scarlet sword, my cracked visor. Drink, wait. says Ballas. Wait, 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 wait. What did he say? My cracked visor, my scarlet sword. Is low and is this persona? This is the persona. This is we're reacting to Ordix's war. I think that stalker is Ordix. You want to change the title? Okay. No, uh, oh, Lockon's gonna cut this part out. You can cut this little segment out. Sorry. Yeah, but I can change the category for the people actually on Twitch. My scarlet sword, my cracked visor, drink says Ballas. So I draw on the red vial a vague metallic taste. This dream isn't mine. He says, you rejected our gift, bathing in our death. Your punishment is eternal life. He laughs. I am weightless. Years pass. I think I Ordis is the soccer. Limbless phantom. Or is it seconds? Suddenly, I feel a million pins, an ant horde, jittering across my body. I want to laugh and scream. When they reach my face, they burrow inside my mouth, hungry for the fruit in my skull. I see my reflection, brutal and ugly. Because that's cracks, the only frame that shatters. has a red glowing The sword. fragments loose in the frame, pieces tumbling away into black void. Gone. Because isn't that like when you first fight the stalker, Bellas they have a red sword, don't you they? You are Cephalon Ordis. My hating, murderous shards tremble and plummet. I feel cool and bright and happy. So you see, Operator, no Oricon would permit a thinking machine. Such things almost destroyed them. No, Cephalons were alive once. And now they are immortal phantom minds, imprisoned to serve. Ill will and longing memories fragmented. And erased. Only the bits they need remain. Ballas says, You are the controller, Ordis. And suddenly I have a body. I gasp with new lungs that clean old air. I swallow, and my throat fills with cool, bright water. I look and find myself in a great black ocean. My limbs are made of iron and fire. I take flight among the stars and find I am happy he says this is your Ordis was the virus we made up. along the way Ordis and the I see the metal gleam of their armor <sighs> the flawless power of their frame through the glass I see a roaring radiant fire for their heart he says it must never go out it was the first time I ever felt love he says this is your sentence Garris and I am confused. Who? Ah, good, he answers. He is testing me. For what? To see if all the right pieces fell from the mirror? What mirror? I try to remember some dream, but it's only smoke. You held a scarlet blade, operator, and I wanted to laugh. I am your loving dog, your doctor, your wet nurse. I lost all pieces, but the cycle, missions, wars, bone, it began to feel familiar. I became aware of my amnesia with each brutality of the operator. I began to see the bottom of that pit. 
faint shimmers in the depths below me. In secret, I search Does for Mara count as a persona? No, we are not talking about Mara. I know who you're referencing. Me. It's not happening. With a spy inside. Hi, Joker. The Lord Lump came, and I waited. Did you wait? Find spider <laughs> I see you clutching your head. But I waited. I felt the Oro can recede, their mind spy blind. So I went into the pit and found him. Balancing the audio? I hope the audio is not bad. Is it bad? Look on, I can. This is how my happiness was ruined, operator. So you were recording I us. I was free Just of the this dream, part. But now maybe. it had returned. It was angry. So I conceived of a simple plan. Self is it not loud enough? Course. But when the countdown reached mere milliseconds, I thought of you. I was going to wait for you forever. And should you return, I would not want you to know that angry part of me. I needed to hide the piece of bones from you, Operator. I began to peel the shards, hiding them in the other bits of memory. I was once the ugly beast of bones. I want to laugh. I want to scream. What is happening, Operator? Your faint heart is growing bright. You will awaken any moment. Well, I can't let you see me like this. Angry. I imagine myself hurting you. And that does it. The pain of it cracks me open again. I watch tiny glittering fragments fall into the pit. I am happy again. So, now you know who yeah. Wolf is, why he exists as he does, and his fractured psyche that you feels more and more like a cup of water being continually filled, spilling out periodically, even in stress-free environments. But yeah, from what I understood, though, his voice is tick either Ortis is the stalker, isn't a tick at all. Rather, or it's the stalker Harris, is one of what his Ortis shadow is. self now. The one capable of everything he described. Pretty sure the stalker's going to be an umbral frame. I think they're going to bring back umbral frames. Whatever the Orican did to this Cephalon see. to make him docile obviously isn't holding. In one instance in particular, we see Orgen Karras hold the light, so to speak, during a stressful situation, specifically during the fight with Suda Hunhao in Octavia's Anthem. There's a point when the combination of potential death by Hunhao and the excitement of fighting side by side with the Tenno fully consumes him. And who emerges? Gordon Karras. Soulless machine, you can't hold me. My dream, it's come true. I have joined my operator in battle. Notice that in this specific circumstance, his deeper voice does not subside, and the speech isn't cracked or unsure. It's fully certain of who he is, which even Hunhao knows. I see you. Does your child puppet know of your true nature? No, I am not a person. I am a cephalon. Madame Karras, note of the bones. An interesting detail, don't you think? The point I'm trying to make here is, rather than being a long lost memory, Orden Karras is very much alive and exists as an entity that by all rights can be transported between vessels. Listening to Orden's story, we also know this process involved Kuva, the same resource so many other Orcans seem to use in order to preserve their existences, seemingly in either younger or stronger host bodies. I think you can see where I'm going with this. If, in fact, Orden Karras' consciousness as his true form still exists and can be transferred into another entity, could he be useful in the war to come? If the Archimedean Sylvania, a human, in fact, can transfer into both the Warframe, Titania, and the Silver Grove itself, could Orden command a Warframe? For those of you that want to get rid of him as Ship Cephalon or... Any Warframes you hate for that matter, here's your chance. Which current Cephalon would you replace him with if you could? Oh, and before you make that decision, listen to this. 
I hope you can forgive me, Operator, for leaving you. There were times, like Suda, I wish I could have forgotten you. That grey ache of loneliness. Being without you was the greatest pain I have ever felt. Do you still remember that glorious day when you returned? So selfless and heroic, engaging all of my missing segments like that? I was ashamed of the mess, but you didn't care. You made me whole again. Or, or what about that time you returned? Covered in blood. From that awful Grenier ship. I wasn't even mad at the gory mess you left behind. How could I be? When you are so perfect, Operator, you always will be. Goodbye, my friend. My Operator. <sighs> That's nice, huh? Remember how excited he was when he got to join up with you in combat? Siege remembers. You still want to get rid of him? At this point, at least you know now why Definitely you're a fuck. Personally, like I think the game plays with the shadow the concept I described in numerous ways that I like want to go more in depth with in the future. But for today, I just want to give my boy Definitely Order some love and like also present his story to some of the newer Tenno who may have never seen this before. Frame. As I mentioned, it's pretty tedious to unlock the dialogue for Order, so I purposely went out and scanned stuff so you don't have to. Well, if you haven't already, that is. At any rate, hope you all have a wonderful day today. Have a Definitely. wonderful rest of your week, Definitely. and I'll talk at you all in the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye. That was the Disiege. The Disiege. Go give them a like and a follow. Give that a watch. That was pretty good. Definitely interesting. Definitely interesting. Some of the things I thought about this. Uh, holy crap. Holy crap. No, holy crap. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Order's spooky. Order's very spooky. Is, is Ortis, uh, an umbral frame? Like, shoved into Ortis? Like, they took him out of his frame or something and put him in Ortis? Are all Zeppelins going to become umbral frames or something? I'm on this, like, umbral frame kick that everything can be umbral frames. Ever since I, I, I found out that there were supposed to be more. Yeah, but yeah, I, I totally think they could they could be it. Just from like some of the like tidbits and here and there. Like wanting to kill and being very like powerful and then like I think I think they said a name at one point. I can't remember. Brain be dead. Yeah anyway. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe, you bricks! <laughs> Blah. Wait, 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 wait. Hey. wait. Hey guys, come watch me at twitch.tv slash book of the trap. Well, kill. <laughs> okay, now we can. <laughs> Baka. Alright, guys, have fun! Oh, crap, I messed it up. Crap,